Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be taking a look at our high efficiency boilers and the sensor error fault. Now, there are many different variations of the sensor error fault, as you can see here. We could get a boiler out sensor fault, or it may just say temperature sensor, supply sensor, DHW sensor, outdoor sensor, the list goes on and on. However, the procedure is basically the same for all of them. We need to determine which sensor is giving us the problem and determine if it is actually a bad sensor or possibly something else causing the issue. So let's say we have come across a boiler output sensor or flu sensor fault. We see this occur if dual temperature sensors have spread by more than 10 degrees. So what does that mean? It means these two particular sensors are both redundant sensors. They read the temperature twice, and if those two readings are more than 10 degrees apart, we get a sensor error. So, the first place to start will be to look in the lockout history. Press the up and down arrow buttons for five seconds, then diagnostics, errors, lockout history one, and temperatures. When we go there, we can see all the temperatures that the boiler was reading at the moment of the lockout. And here we see the flu temperature sensor is showing a 15 degree difference between the two readings. We have found our defective sensor. The next example we will look at is when a sensor reads short or open. Not very complicated here. It indicates the sensor has either had a catastrophic failure or it may just have come unplugged. The boiler will show sensor error until the problem is corrected. To find these, go from diagnostics to temperatures for real-time readings. So, there really isn't much to these sensor errors when it comes to determining which sensor is causing the issue. The tricky part can be finding exactly where that sensor is located. So, here are a few diagrams of our most common sensor locations. Here on our Ecotec boiler, we can see the boiler out sensor, the flu sensor, boiler in sensor, and DHW sensor when used. Along with those, we have the outdoor sensor and the system sensors. The system sensors are located on the pipes usually within three feet of the bypass connection. The outdoor sensor will be, well, outside. Sensor locations for our ultra boiler are shown here. An Evergreen, Eco, and WM97 are shown here. So, now that we have a pretty solid grip on the nature of this error, there are a few other diagnostic tips we can take a look at. First, these sensors all have identical resistance value. So, you will see this chart in each of the manuals. It represents the resistance you should be seeing at varying temperatures. If you take an ohm reading on one of these sensors with a given temperature value of, let's say, 80 degrees, you should see between 10,629 and 11,747 ohms. If it's not in that range, replace the sensor. Now, another factor that can affect sensor readings is damaged wiring. If we find a sensor reading on the screen that doesn't look right, it may be a damaged or broken wire. Be sure to check for any pinched wires corrosion on connections, or any other indication there may be a problem with the wiring 
between the control module and the sensor. And finally, we have seen many instances where we are getting electrical interference or stray voltage affecting the sensor readings. This is usually caused by either voltage on the thermostat circuit or partially shorted low water cutoff. We often find stray voltage coming back from the zone valves, zone panels, and thermostats that will affect the operation of the boiler. Remember, all thermostat connections to the boiler must be a dry contact only. The thermostat must not introduce any power into the circuit. These devices must simply pass the power coming from the module back to the module. We have seen many instances where stray voltage affects the sensors and simply disconnecting the thermostat terminal restores proper sensor function. To track down this type of issue, simply remove any external devices from the boiler. Cycle the power on the boiler and see if the temperatures come back to normal. If they are now reading normally, check each individual external wire to ground for voltage. If any of these wires show more than one volt, it must be corrected. The most common cause of this issue is faulty zone valves. The end switch on a zone valve is designed to be only a dry contact, and as these devices age, they can short internally and start to add voltage to the circuit. But any external device can cause problems if they are partially shorted or adding voltage to the circuit. Be sure to test all external devices. Well, thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful and be sure to download our Pro Tools app. It has everything you'll need to help diagnose and repair Lyle McLean products along with lots of other features.